welcome to another create a card using some of my favorite Ippity stamps. I'm using a, uh, two of the new sets from the 2010 Ippity line fall for fall. They are the ones that we just put out in November. So that's exciting. Let me go ahead and show you which ones I'm using. The first one is the Party Hat Wishes. I'm going to be using this little banner stamp down here. And then also the Here and Now set. I love this ticket. It can be used for so many things. Um, so we're using that today. And then I'm making a birthday card. So I'm going to grab the birthday stamp from Fall For You, which is from the 2010 Spring Collection. So let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is that I have a standard size card here. It is um, five and a half by four and a quarter. So we have that ready to go. I'm using some paper from um, Webster's Pages, a um, six by six pad. And so I'm using some pieces from there. Um, I just have a strip of cardstock in this pretty little teal and I'm going to grab my um, apron uh, border punch by Fiskars and just go ahead and, and get that punched out on both sides. Okay so now that I have that cut I'm going to go ahead and trim this down so it fits on the inside of the of the strip of paper here. So now I'm just going to glue that to the center of my strip of cardstock. And this is going to go on the front of the card, so I'm just going to trim it off at the edge there. And then I'm going to do um, a straight stitch across the top here and the bottom. Okay, so I've stitched along the top and the bottom here in just a, a simple straight stitch and I want to show you what I do at the, the back of my card when I do stitching. Let me zoom in here. You, you have a string in the the front here and one in the back. What you do is you grab the back one and just pull it and it pulls that thread from the front to the back. So now they're both in the back here and it, it makes it look clean on the front and then you just have these strings in the back. And then all I do is take a little bit of adhesive and tack those down. This is what I do when when I know nobody's going to see the back of the card. That way it just keeps everything in place. Okay. So now we have that done, I'm just going to go ahead and set that aside and we'll work on that later. Let's do some stamping. The first thing is I just want to grab this birthday stamp and get it out of the way. I'm going to use some um, dark, dark brown chalk ink, stamp it right there, and then I'm going to use a die cut uh, to cut that out. Okay, so I used my spellbinder uh, and just laid it down so it would trim out where I wanted it from that piece of paper, and now I just have like a little label with the birthday on it. I want to go ahead and stamp this ticket onto this cream colored paper. I think I'm going to need this. And I'm going to do that in this uh, chestnut roan lighter brown. And next I'm grabbing the banner stamp and I'm going to use my Stampamajig on this just so I get a good placement. And I'm using some dark brown chalk ink. And we want 
to go ahead and stamp that one more time. And now I'm just going to cut each of these little uh, triangles out. Okay, so I have all my little pieces cut out here. Um, this time I'm just going to use a glue pen and glue them all into place on here. Okay, now I'm just going to take a white gel pen and fill in the, the letters here. And now I'm just going to trim out this ticket. Okay, I think I want to add some stitching, so I'm just going to glue this down. Actually, no, I think I don't. I'm just going to leave that as is, but I'm going to round these corners up here. So I have some Webster Pages bloomers and then I also have to attach this to the front of the ticket. So we'll go ahead and do that. I left a bit of a, a tab there so I could go ahead and do that. That's attached like that, I think. Glue that down there. Now I have some liquid pearls. I'm just going to fill in these hearts. Okay, that does it for today's create a card. We played with a little bit of um, liquid pearls and um, of course used my, my favorite banner stamp from Ippity. So it's a fun little kind of vintage looking card. I'm working into kind of doing a little bit more of that, but it's still with my graphic clean and simple style. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.